What would happen to me if I left you here? Hmm. Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. And if I put you back? Why did you ne never say anything about how you felt before? What did you think all those self-preservation instincts were? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I just all ignore those. All those times you thought for a fleeting second, maybe I shouldn't punch that death claw in the face. That was me telling you exactly how I felt before! <laughs> Come on, let's go again out here. Ugh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. I don't recall giving you a choice. Let's go. Come on, you're my brain. I'm your body. This is meant to be, baby. Are you... Are you coming on to me? Oh. Sweet Lord, I don't even have <laughs> the words for how repugnantly wrong that is. Yep, rejected by my own brain. I lie. I promise I'll take it better care of myself. Even if I believe you, and I'm not saying I do, we still have one significant problem we're facing. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. Of course he doesn't. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. I get it, inclined? Why? They promised to put us back together once I did what they wanted. Then let's go make them share. Come on, brain, it's stomping time. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Yes. Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. What's so bad about letting the brains out? They don't seem that terrible. You're a part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? If the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. I'll handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be more useful outside my head. Right. Look out, think tank. This brain is coming out of its jaw. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I'm not handing over my... I'm not handing my brain over. There's some things we need to discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Do you think I am the lobotomite? No. But my skull houses the brain of Mobius. Do you think I killed Mobius? Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. There's no way Mobius would condescend to step inside you. Lie, obviously. Besides, Move there's on no him. way such a thing could be accomplished. It's impossible. Thank you for the follow, Doctor. <laughs> Welcome in. Countless brain extraction surgeries exist, but only the one implantation. But only one implantation one for Mobius. You speak the truth, and the decibel variation in your voice, it is Mobius. How dare you breach the sink tank, and what do you want here? He, uh, I offer a deal. Stay here, stay put, and heal. I'll let you live. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, routed at it, 
Made it squirm. You can still do that here quietly for me. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. Well, that was easy. With the appliances. The continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sync personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. No, Sparking toaster! And hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. Oh, Muggy. It might have been the end. For poor Muggy. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving. Absolutely stable Nine individual. Down. EDE. Excited beeping. EDE, what are you doing here? Am I supposed to know who EDE is? This silo must have been some pretty advanced engineering facil facilities to remote scan you and build copies. What do you mean you're not the EDE I know? I don't know an EDE. Am I supposed to know an EDE? Can you help me, Robo? Enha enhanced sensors per. Experiment log. Is he the one that we found in Prim? I, th I think we found one in Prim. You, that's you saying that has unlocked the memory. Only panels with this shape receivers. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Aww. Well, I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Maybe you'll see him again someday. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh god, it's distressed. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Whitley, there you are. Orders from Colonel No companion. Hawk. He feels the iBot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here. Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. At least until I tell the Colonel about this. <laughs> Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. You don't have to tell me, I would beat the crap out of her. Wow, would you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> yeah! Violence. Oh, he's dead. Ralphie? <laughs> Base of beeping. Who the hell is this General Winters? Lonely beeping. That's a terrible story, E. Anyway, we should get going. Hmm. How'd you get up there, friend? Oh. Dead marked man. Are you a ghoul? You don't look like a ghoul. I mean, you look like a fresh ghoul, kind of. Taking your chances coming here. Just like bringing the Lord of Vegas his tribute, bending your knee to old world ghosts. You and that chip deserve each other. Twenty-nine less coins than other traitors have carried, if history's true. Now see the road the old world paves, and what the lights of new Vegas promise, if they haven't blinded your eyes. Is New Vegas' power a threat to you? If 
you're afraid of Vegas and Mr. House. You should be. Maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. How are you speaking through E? But what is this place? Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. Also, don't stand next to a nuke, yeah. I, uh, figured that out now. You can go home, yes, courier. This guy's a good poet. You are very cool looking. You're like a dragon. Where? Where? Is it in the ground? It's in the ground. Well, that's that's just truly unfair. I stood over him when he spawned. Okay, I broke it again. Yeah, it's um Yeah, he's in the ground. It had the name, the divide too. But rather than cracks. Divide the earth, these nuts on your mouth, E boy. <laughs> Maybe you should tell me what happened. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Stake to claim whether it was wanted there or not. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the legion comes, bearing messages. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk okay. I'll keep walking. Be be scared of boy. Nothing to be afraid of, not when I'm around. So there is death claws. What was the weakness of death claws, the tummy? So this one seems senile and confused. It's sneaking time. Don't have the, the stealth suit, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. That's awkward. <laughs> they don't, they apparently don't seem to care. another nuclear weapon going off you know between friends this is the edge of the divide ahead lies your work the history you burned in the earth what you brought to the people here i had nothing to do with this you delivered a package had markings that matched those in the divide not all but enough Military markings from some place the bear had savaged in the west. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home, made you carry it. This package, I don't recall it. It was from the west, from deep in NCR, whether made by them or not. It came here through your hands. It was a device, a detonator, one I'd never seen before. Or heard before. You carried that thing to the divide. I know because I followed you as you walked the road, watched you do it. You brought it here to the community you built, and you are responsible for what happened after when the device opened, started to speak. When it did, the divide answered back. Those missiles. 
things you've seen. They, they exploded beneath the ground, cracked the landscape. Alright, so I. Sand, this is all my fault. Ash, the dead. I have no idea. I had no idea the silo was active until the missile was in the air toward Hopeville. Didn't stop you, though. Like carrying the chip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go to do their killing. I'm not to blame for Ashton, the chip, or the divide. All these roads that you walked, these packages that you carried, think it wasn't your choice? It's just of a job, course, bro. I just fucking work choice. here. What do you want me to do? You could have stayed. Take it up with management. But you've bought me what I need. That machine. No, it's my machine. See, needed someone to unlock it. Bring it home. Now the signal's strong enough. No need for you to carry it anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's not going anywhere. You gave it a name. What was it to you? Companion? Slave? Weapon? Uh, all of the above. All of that. Command. Override. Navarro. Don't do it! Well, good thing I didn't give him anything. Oh no! Come back, friend! <laughs> bear bull divide bear bull. Oh, we rescued our boy! You must have been an override function piggybacked on the broadcast. That's what pulled you here. Are you okay? Of course I came after you. I wasn't going to leave you behind. It's an actual person? Your city, Vegas, lies in the other direction with the rest of its slaves. Or is it just you, courier, without the lights and ghosts? Can you stop Judging speaking in riddles? Shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. Should I just... You've wasted enough of my time. Get ready to die. I'll finish history's work. If the Divide couldn't kill you, perhaps these spears of the old <laughs> Yes, world kill can. him. Let's end this courier. You and I. Here with the old world flag as witness. Got you. Oh, I got you. The dead men. Perfect hiding spot, dude. Real good. Oh, you came from nowhere. Wow, his head is invincible. I'm a about to die. <laughs> oh. Why didn't it do that before? Yeah, not so tough without your robots, bitch! Fucking, I hate you. <laughs> the man could not be any more dealt with! Goodbye. You know what? As a treat, let's do both. Love to see it. My beautiful handiwork. Oh, isn't it beautiful? My beautiful, beautiful handiwork. Just take in all that radiation. 
it burns. 